Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tuna Racing. On this episode, I throw a Nexus R3 into Tough Lux. So this video I've actually done over about the last six months. The install of the ECU was probably November last year. I didn't uh, take it to the drags until January and I didn't take it to the dyno until May. So yeah, you'll, you'll see the old uh, facial hair changes in length a fair bit. Uh, you'll also notice that the front of the car has changed. Uh, I have just upgraded that or updated that from the earlier square front to the later 01 to 05 front. Same car, um, it's just cosmetic. I did do the unicooler <clears throat> at that same time and I didn't video changing the front because obviously it was just cosmetic change. Uh, so I'll try and get a video up of how you install an unicooler on one of these. Uh, but basic rundown of this car, tuna racing log manifold, Pulsar PSR 3076 Gen 2 with a 0.82 rear. Uh, 450 by 300 by 76 intercooler. Uh, two and a half inch intercooler pipes. Uh, it's all just alley and silicons. No fancy clamps or anything on anything on this one. Um, 1000 cc injectors. If you watch episode five here, you'll see uh, how to do that. Um, so almost everything on this car is available through tuneracing.au. Uh, check out what we have. We do the manifolds, we do the turbos, we do the fuel regs, we do injector cups, uh, always adding. So make sure you check back, see what we've got, see what's new. And as always, if you want to support the channel, merch is also available. Check it out. So on today's episode, I am going to put a aftermarket ECU into Tough Lux. Uh, I am denied about which would be the best order to do this. So normally with something like this, uh, once it's turboed, the next step, I would put a head gasket, head studs and valve springs into it uh, and then go to the aftermarket ECU and turn it up. Uh, I normally limit these things to about 350 horsepower, somewhere between 300 and 350, uh, depending on the fuel and other things um, because of the rods um, but on this particular car I'm gonna just put the ECU on it and see what we can get out of this thing absolutely 100% bog stock with just a turbo thrown on it uh, so I've gone with the Haltech Nexus R3 because end goal is to put an A340 in this car uh, and the Nexus R3 all the Nexus stuff has got trans control uh, so I can just put it in D and drive and not have to shift manually. So I do these Nexus installs a little bit differently. Uh, in the Hilux, there's a nice spot next to the battery to put them. So I've got nice short little battery cable straight to the PDM ECU rather than uh, under the glove box. I have to run those cables up into the car and then back out again. Um, the ECUs are waterproof and dustproof and whatnot. So fine for them to be in the engine bay. Uh, it does make everything just a little bit shorter. Uh, so first off, I'm going to go a fairly basic loom. Uh, I'm leaving it cable throttle, factory coils, just as I said, chucking some injectors in it, wiring it up, put a tune in it, we'll see what it does. Um, then I do have an A340 for it. I'm not sure whether I'll get it onto the dyno before I swap it over to auto, but we'll see how we go. All right, so I've made my pigtails. Um, this is the way I do it. I start at the sensor or the plug and work my way back rather than use a flying lead, whatever's easiest for you. But I've made my pigtails now. Um, so now I just work out where I want my joins, braid it all up, come back to the header plug, cut it off, pin it out, plug it in, and uh, away we go. Um, but basically, very simple loom, four injectors, two coils, wasted spark, Fuel pressure, oil pressure and oil temp as a combined Bosch sensor, TPS and idle control motor, uh, air temp sensor and or inlet air temp sensor and engine coolant temp sensor. Uh, I need a wire to run through for the compressor from the factory aircon module. Um, I'm not going to bother running the factory wire for the temp gauge on the dash because I've got an IC7 to go in. Um, so that's pretty much it engine wise and then obviously reverse lights on the gearbox uh, and I'll probably also wire up a speed sensor um, again because I'm running the IC7 so I'll ditch the cable and I'll put a 
uh, later transducer in there um, and wire that up to the Haltech as well. John has made a bracket to mount the ECU behind the battery. Uh, so now basically get this loom out, run the new loom, sit it all in situ, make sure everything reaches, plug everything in. You run a vac line to the onboard map sensor and do the power cables for the Nexus. Um, and then we can power it up and put a tune in it. ECU is mounted, it's down in there. Uh, power cables to the battery I made and put the battery clamp back on so that I can slide this out and still get to that if I need to. Um, you can see the loom just runs across there, up under the manifold. Um, also swap the injectors out. Wiring runs around the front here now uh, to keep it away from the turbo. Coils over here. As I said, didn't bother with the original temp gauge sender because I'm going to run the IC7. I do have an oil pressure switch up in the original spot, a 0 to 5 volt oil pressure switch. Uh, AC wired as well. I don't have the coils plugged in at the moment uh, because I haven't put a tune in the ECU yet and I don't want to burn anything out. Um, and I have run a plug down in here. Which you can't actually see right now, but it's in there somewhere uh, for my boost controller or MAC valve solenoid, which I haven't put in yet. At the moment, I've just got the back line directly across to the manifold uh, and I'll just have that at gate pressure for the meantime. Uh, also obviously wired my uh, 4.9 LSU Bosch wideband sensor there, uh, onboard controller on the Nexus, so straight into the Nexus, no WB1 or anything needed there. Uh, I haven't put a boot back on the firewall here yet because I am undecided about how many more things are going to need to run into the car before I do that. So in the car at the moment, the only things I've tagged into up there are aircon request so i've got aircon um into the ecu and then uh, hbo output to the compressor so that i can dictate when it's on and off uh, and also i've got my can and power and earth running up for the dash um, i've got a fuel pump trigger to the original factory relay because this is just running the factory uh, relay and just a walbra 255 uh, and i've also got the brake light switch input into there for future uh, and I should run another one in there for when I do the auto conversion that I plan to do on this but for now that's all we need uh, also welded a bung into the back of the intercooler piping and put an air temp sensor uh, and I've got my uh, map sensor plumbed in with some four mil vacos so I took my start signal or interrupted my start signal um, put that into the Nexus and then out back to the starter relay, uh, out of this relay box. Some of these don't have starter relays, they just go straight off the barrel, this one does, so it was pretty easy to interrupt that. Uh, I did that again because of the auto conversion, so I can use the Nexus to do my park neutral isolator and any other start parameters that I want. Uh, and then also I took my ignition on out of this box, so it's just less wiring to cut into under the dash. Uh, so I'm pretty much ready to power it up and see if I can put a bass tune in it. All right, so as you can see, uh, I've managed to connect 28 uh, DTCs, I guess, and a couple of other little faults. Obviously, no tune in this thing, no I.O. set up, so everything's all over the place. So see if we can uh, get a bit of a bass into it to start with, and then we'll uh, set up the I.O. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, so now the ECU's in, the car runs, I'm gonna chuck the IC7 in, because it'll just make road tuning it a little bit easier. Pretty straightforward on these. Just gotta pull the dash, surround off here. So a couple of screws up in the bottom here. Pull this bottom fascia forward, screw in the bottom there, screw in the bottom there, screw in behind here. Four screws in the cluster, speed air cable off, three plugs in the back that's out and done and then obviously we just got to wire that up and then ic7 into the new dash around put that in 
and uh, away we go. There it is, fired. So because this dash came out of my Corona, uh, it's set up for a link ECU. So I've just got to recalibrate all of that, reconfigure all of that, uh, and then we can see if it reads. What are we doing? We have to beat Raji. O light, 14 1. And Jambo in this last year. 13's all bust. Well, seeing as I've done about three laps of the block to road tune it. <laughs> why, why else would you just go out and send it? Sort of, what have we done? Very little. Chucked an XSR3 in it. Yep. They turned it in about three laps of the block. Yep. And then brought it here. And then we're just going to see how much it holds? Yeah, pretty much. We brought the trailer. Yes. So that we can get it home. Yeah. Yes, good chance I'll break it. So, give it everything. Everything on the first one, you reckon? Yeah. No. Oh. no, 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 we'll go easy on the first one. We want to oh, get it. You need to get a 13 out of it, and then we'll oh, give it everything. I'll turn it down a little bit. Okay. Battle of the Tuna Racing built Hiluxes. Bit of axle trim. Yeah, man. It's harder than it looks. Fourteen forty-six for Andy and fourteen twenty-nine for Ricky. So Andrew, first run, tough lux. Oh, yes. This is actually your first run in first, tough lux. First ever run in tough lux. Yes. So I think Roger beat me because what was your first ever run in this? Uh, first ever run. Fourteen three. Fourteen three. No, that was your best run. Your first. Ever. 14, oh, three. first. Yes, fourteen three. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so you beat me with an O light. I'm pretty sure. I'm on the first one. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm pretty sure. Like, You'll take it. I'll pretty take sure it. we were all blown away. I'll take it. Sounds like it needs a bit more timing, Andrew. Well, I, think it needs more I think it needs more timing. Just give it a little bit everywhere. I never had shift lights. Plus. Yeah. Plus, plus 5%. It's in, Sounds like a good idea. It's so, the most so, so logical. we're going to do, we're going to make two changes for this next run. We're going to raise the rev limiter and we're going to give it more timing. Deal. I'm excited. You know, the other good thing about trying to make this faster is that you're going to go faster than one of your customer cars and then he's going to need to go faster. So he's going to spend more money with you. Is that how it works? Yeah. <laughs> or I'll go tell Richard. <laughs> I'm going to lift the head on it and then I mean, he's going to go, why didn't you do the head gas like you told me to do? And then I was going to say, that's why. <laughs> I just needed to front the point. Back on after an hour and a half of sitting around waiting. <laughs> and oil downs. Wouldn't be a fucking Willow Bank test regime without oil downs. Yeah, very true. <laughs> Watch the, watch the clutch stop. 
Um, well done. Thank you. 1360 at 99 mile an hour. 99.5. Whoa. <laughs> so close. <laughs> and just for the 3RZ drivers with manuals that can't 60 foot, Jono, uh, 186, 60 foot? I think. 1886. 1886. Uh, Still one it'll, be close okay. with the, it'll be close with the Echo. But he's had more laps on that thing now. Yes, I've done three. Yes. So I can feel a challenge coming on. Yes, I've done three, <laughs> but two clutches. Clutch does not smell good. <laughs> All right, so apparently, what? Now, apparently Andrew said he's coming for the uh, Australia's fastest bike. Yeah, look out, Jimmy. Jimmy. 13 six. I'm coming for you. Get ready, bro. So, no stock unopened. Three RZ. Completely unopened. Three RZ. Stock box has a clutch. It's an aftermarket ECU. And an aftermarket ECU with a log manifold, 3076, three inch exhaust. Yep. It's gone 1360. 1360. With a manual. With a manual. Excellent. 12 with an auto, I reckon. Let's do it. Yep. That engine bay looks like it'll make a whopping 270 horsepower on this dyno. I'm saying 270, what about yourself? I'm hoping for three, the 270 is actually probably more realistic. But let's yeah. say 286, just so I'm not saying the same as you. <laughs> So there you have it guys, 280 horsepower uh, out of a stock 3RZ uh, on 12 pound. You'll see the dynograph has that little wiggle in it. That's the Nexus pulling timing out because it was hitting the knock threshold. Uh, I set that knock threshold on the road um, without knock ears. So it was a pretty much a blatant guess. Um, I've since fixed that up. So the curve should be a bit smoother and would be now, but I didn't have time on the day to do it. Um, Will it make more power? Yeah, it'll probably handle more than 12 pound, but I don't particularly want to lift the head trying. Uh, so future episodes, if you stay tuned, you'll see uh, what we do to the engine to make a bit more power. The goal with this car, 10 second, street car, drag and drive, drop the kids to school, go to the grocery store, pick up parts, take it to the track, run a 10, air con, stereo, all that sort of stuff. So if that's what you want to see, make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, you can keep up to date with the content.